Good morning, everybody, and welcome back to Money in the Law, My FM 101.3, and HCAT, House and Cable Access TV. Uh, you are here with your host, Jay Marsden, he's from the Marsden Law Group, and I'm John Joyne from Main Effort Financial, and we, every week, we bring you discussion, in-depth conversation, a little levity about... A little so, bit of levity. A little a levity about things that have to do with money, and things that have to do with finances, and things that have to do with the law. Death and, and taxes. How, yep, and how, how the law and the money, they work together. You, many people will often think that that's maybe somewhat a little tedious, a little boring, however... A little when redundant. You, Some people think it's when redundant. You, when you listen or watch this show, oh, you know, it's uh, it, it comes out a little different. Yep. Yeah, you, yeah, you, you come see. out saying, yeah, you see things a little differently. Yeah, the the the, 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 the clouds part is usually what people tell me. They say <laughs> I, I, the fog is lifted. The I clouds hear all the time. part, the, 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 the sea, fog, the Red right. Sea parts. So yep. I mean, I mean, I've even yep. heard that in some hear. instances. That's what I hear from everybody. So, uh, so that's what, so. How are you doing today? You are. You look good today. I'm, yeah, I'm a little dressed yeah. up. I, can, I have a, I have an out of office presentation. I'll be doing down on the great city town of Foxborough. Uh, heading down <laughs> really? there. Really? Yeah. Yep. Yeah, doing a presentation down there. <laughs> the old out of office presentation. Yes. Yeah. Yes. For the Foxborough Council on Aging. That's today, Wednesday. So don't come down on Saturday. We're not doing <laughs> so it. So you missed it. Doing it today. You missed it. So call the office. We'll give you the recap. Um, yeah, you can see these. yeah, so we get that going on, and uh, and then I'm heading down to uh, New York this weekend to see my uh, my my second born. You're, that's right. You're going, to, you're, going to the, you're going to the island. The, the going to the one, island. Right? Yep. The going to the big one. island. Yep. Yeah. Her birthday. Yep. Not the, yep. Not flying in with a bunch of people from Florida. Uh, this yeah. is a different <laughs> island. And uh, yeah, going to go over and uh, check things out down there. See it's funny. We were talking just before you came in. Uh, there was actually a Key West conversation that happened, and I and I felt a little <laughs> guilty. I felt like hurtful. And it was Ray was talking about. And he was talking about some buddies of his that went down to Key West. It's actually a funny story, which we won't talk about in the air. But they they uh, had a good time up until a point, but. The, um, the 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 discussion about Key West and the fact that Key West was actually brought up and you not being here, yeah. I did feel a little a little, a little bit of a little bit. I don't think he knew. That's hurtful. I, you know, cause, and you know what now he I gotta call him. Now This I is call what him. he said. He goes. He goes. Yeah. You know. It's that he was trying to think of. It. He goes. Yeah. It's that uh, place. It's south of Florida. And I'm like Cuba. And he, I'm like, Key West. <laughs> <laughs> in between. Yeah. In between. In between. Yeah. You're right in between. Right. Right yeah, now. Could be Cuba. Could be yep. South America. Yeah. Or which is unfortunately getting pummeled with about 300 inches of rain right now. It is. It is. It's getting pounded right now. Yeah. Yeah. So thoughts off. Hats and thoughts off and prayers and all that stuff to those guys down there. Yeah, and, and it, it's funny because, I mean, it's not funny, but it's 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 interesting how, you know, if you're not connected to, like, that hurricane community, sure. you know, like, we're not. I mean, we had that, you know, we had a hurricane, you know, the perfect storm hurricane a right. trillion years right, ago, right, right? right? And everybody's like, oh, my God, right? And we made, like, ten movies about it. But... Down there, it's like every year, right? Every oh, yeah. year, you know, you're in that you're in that cyclone. June through October. Yeah, and it's funny. So one of the things is a little known fact, or maybe a, a, a fun fact, is that the reason, and we talked, we mentioned Cuba. So in Guantanamo Bay, I didn't know this, but Guantanamo Bay, the reason that we chose that as a port, and specifically, is because it had it had that land yes. shield from the hurricane. Yeah. yeah, yeah. So so it was one of those places where. You know, if you're the fleet, whatever, you know, the U.S. fleet was down there during the hurricane season, oftentimes they would go and kind of hide out in Guantanamo to, you know, kind of dodge the bullet. Well, they were talking about that this week down there. We are talking about, you know, the, the Navy. I'm not Navy, making, I'm not well, making well, it but up. Navy moving its ships where they need to move them to get them out of the line of fire down there. And they were talking about, you know, they are showing some airports and you get airplanes turned over on their side. And, you know, these things, I mean, you know, to your point, right, we experience in the, up here, you know, with, with not real regularity like they do down there. And down there, they get ready for it like it's their job, yeah. right? I mean, it's like, go get the plywood, right? They go get the plywood. I mean, they just, that's it. You yeah, know? And, you know? and most of the time, most of the, oftentimes, it's, you know, that you escape without kind of, sure. the, excuse me, that crushing damage. And then you get the ones that just, that, that leave a mark that really never goes away. Like, yeah. You know, and, 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 you know, like in Hurricane Katrina, you know, or even the, sure. the one that was up on, on the Jersey Shore, like all the, the, the yeah, damage that's in yeah, right? Yeah. So, yeah. so it's, uh, it's real, it's scary. Yeah, so keep them in your press because yep. they're, uh, they're, they're, they're hitting, they're getting hit hard today, tomorrow. Uh, right. And then you think about from a, just like, you know, we talk about, you know, one of the things we may talk about today about just from like a business standpoint. I mean, you're, you know, you're running a business, you're running a small business, a mom and pop shop, sure. a restaurant or something like that. And you, it gets leveled, right? Leveled or it gets swamped, it gets, you know, water up to the ceilings. All of your, think about all of that stuff, all of the, all of your equipment, your kitchen stuff, everything gets swamped and destroyed. And you got to start from scratch. Well, you, you, you have to start from scratch, and you're assuming you have the resources to start from scratch, right? right? So the first thing you got to do is you got to deal with the insurance company, yep. right? And then they got to figure out how they're going to do it, you know? And, um, and, and 
you know, we've had some friends that have gone through this. They've had, you know, loss of property, things like that. The insurance company, when, it's, when you're talking about house insurance, they, they don't just show up and say, oh, John, I'm sorry for your loss. Your house was on Zillow for $780,000. Here's a check for $780,000. Yeah. It doesn't work that way. No. I mean, they literally, like, you get to pry those dollars out of their cold, dead fingers, right? They, they, they give that money up in dribs and drabs. And they spend half the time fighting with you about whether or not it's even worth seven eighty. I mean, you, you you get into this like to the point that people will hire their own private adjusters to battle with the insurance company over whether or not I'm going to get my money yeah. right. And you've been writing premiums, writing premiums, writing premiums, right. and you're thinking like, oh my god, the the event that I've planned for, right? Pat myself on the back. I planned for I, this I'm, event. I'm paying, and you, and you can imagine right the extra insurance that you're yes, paying right yes. for, for the location. All part of your business policies to figure out how much money I'm going to pay to run my business, and I get these insurance premiums, and then it, and then the the time comes to use them. And, and we talk about this on this show about long term care insurance all the time, which is insurance companies do a couple of things really well. They're really good at collecting premiums, mm -hmm. right? They're not so great at paying benefits, right? And that's where they go into this whole idea. And then you're surprised what your flood insurance covers and doesn't cover. You're like, well, we got flooded out. Well, was that water from above or was that water from below? Because right. that makes a difference whether or not we pay those premiums. And so you really need to kind of understand, you know, dive into, uh, you know, the details on this with your insurance person to say, well, what's coming my way? Is this even worth it for me to have? And, and, you know, people, you know, so, so then, right, so as, as the customer, you say, oh, wow, you know, the insurance companies, they're, you know, they're the worst. Like, they're, they're giving up money. They, sure. you know, they, right. Um, however, I've, I've seen, I've seen insurance companies go out of business. I mean, we, and so I've, so I've had like a little bit of hurricane experience, you know, so way, way back in the, you know, way back in the day when I was in the military, you know, there were several hurricanes and, and you, you watch, I mean, you have the like whole Dade County of, you know, in the greater, you know, area of Miami gets wiped out. Right. I mean, there's only so much. The insurance company has only so much. Money. So, so, they can exactly, only absorb right? so many losses. So if right, you have right, right. So if everybody's insured by whatever you know, whatever you know, Billy Bob's insure, you know, insurance company, and they have, and there's you know, ten thousand houses that right. get destroyed. That's, I mean, that's a that's a catastrophic event, yeah. right? And, yeah. so, and yeah. so some insurance companies, like you know, they 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 don't plan for the catastrophic events, and that's the you know. No, they don't plan for the once in five hundred year situation. Exactly. They plan for the regular, right? And then exactly. and then that becomes part of all of your conversations as to what we talk about on the show. We talk about people being snowbirds. We talk about people deciding where they're going to go live. We talk about people wanting second pieces of property. Everybody, not everybody, but a lot of people want to be near the coast. They want to be near the water, and that comes with you know obligations, financial obligations. It has to get packaged into. You know, your estate planning obligations, your financial planning obligations, you get to build all that stuff in there. You don't just dive into, let's buy the house. Yeah. And, well, let's figure out what the house is going to cost us first. And everything comes with risk, right? Sure. And there's always yeah. the, there's that risk element where you have to, you know, you have to you have to take that into consideration. You know, there's a chance if I buy a house on the water that there could be a huge storm sure. that comes and takes my house. In, and, and although I may get some insurance recovery for the house, the property's Gone. The property's right. underwater. Yeah, it's all yeah. land, right? It's all land. House gone, right? And that's what we tell people all the time. When you buy a house, you're buying land with the improvements on it. Those yep. improvements being a house. Yep. If the house is gone. You still own the land, which is great, but you don't have a house. Yeah. And if the land's underwater, you still own the land, but it's, it's underwater. It's underwater. Yep. Yep. So you may have a tough time getting flood insurance for that piece of land. If, you know, for well, that land. if you're not scuba dive certified, it's very challenging to get down there. Scuba is an issue. Scuba yep. is an issue. Yep. All right. Okay. So, um, so what are we talking? I, I mean, I we I see we're talking about some things. Although I, I came in fired up today. Let's go. You're fired yeah, up. You, I, you, you have an agenda. I, I, I don't have an agenda, but I came uh, in fired up. And I, and I wanted to be clear that I'm talking as a private citizen. I'm oh, talking okay. as a as a private citizen, just because of you know some of the positions that I you know take in our town. But I was. You know, and it was it's driven by the whole so we you and I both live in Hollis and we both work in downtown Hollis. Yes, we do. Right. So there's the there's there's the discussion. I'm in the financial district. What part are you in? Uh, I, I, we're in the um, we're in the athletic division. <laughs> yeah, we're the in the we're in, we're in the district. The, gallery district. the people the people that are in really good shape. Yeah, like yeah, it's nice. yeah, a lot right. of exercise. Right, there's Got yoga on all the right. green. Yes, yeah. all right. Um, so we, <laughs> which is five minutes, five yeah. seconds away from you. Uh, so, you know, in downtown, and I use downtown Holliston as an example. So this is one of the conversations that happens. Like now with all of kind of the post COVID funding, and there's been some money to kind of sure. try and revitalize these downtown areas particularly the you know the areas that have been hit economically um holliston is kind of is one of those places where they're talking about and holliston is one of those places where they have they're saying look you know we're what can we do to kind of 
put some, you know, give, to kickstart Holliston to be able to kind of get it, get it back into a, into a, a much more viable place for businesses and to get it back in, and, and potentially to maybe enable it to grow, but to have it grow kind of within, you know, within the way the bylaws are written and to kind of keep sure. that, that, that Holliston, New England town feel, um, but at the same time enable, you know, businesses to be able to function and make money and, and create and have a have a wherewithal to live. Okay. So that's that's what I want to talk about because right. because there, you know there's there's a there's a couple of different pieces that come into this right because you know you, you'll talk to people and they'll be like oh yeah I love downtown I'm, you know again we're using Holliston as an example but sure. you could apply to any one of these places yeah, right anywhere you want to I, I love downtown Holliston oh my god I love it so cute it's so quaint down there and it is and it's super and it's quaint and they're like I really want to have like I, I like I want to keep it the downtown feel and then it's like okay well in order to for right now because one of the big questions is do they want to br- are they bringing a sewer into downtown Holliston right and right. that's and it's and this isn't a new thing, right? This is no, not, I, I don't believe it is. This is this is <laughs> this has come up before. This I think. is not new, right? It, it has come up many times before. Oh, yeah. It's almost like in the movie The Matrix, right? How it keeps happening, like you know, over and over. Every, you know, every you say Matrix, I say Groundhog Day, but that's all right. All right. <laughs> it's the same, the same idea. Don't don't I, you know, hold that thought on Groundhog okay. Day because. I actually have a groundhog living in my yard now, right. which I'm psyched about. So, yeah, so it's the so the the idea of this uh, or potential of a sewer coming in downtown Allison, which then in turn could could kind of jumpstart, like you, as you said, to kickstart, you know, the ability to have different kinds of businesses or expand the business the business area in in Allison. and then kind of what comes along with that, and then. And you know we we have this the sewer idea. It's not a new idea. And as since we don't have a sewer now, it's because this idea has has been shot down before yes, and shot is. down several times yes, over the last is. you know pick a number fifty years. And kind of why this is different. Why and and what the kind of what the argument is on either side. So I sure. want to talk about that. And I, and I know you have. You know, vested interest in this because you, you know, your your office is down there. You're like you. It you're, is. You're, yeah. you're, you're connected yeah. to that down. So you I, have a, have, I, I have unique input. I have some unique input, which I'm dying to. Hear. In addition to being a downtown business owner, I actually did spend uh, almost ten years. A fair uh, amount of time. Yeah, we, yeah, a fair dealing amount of commitment. Town, deal, dealing with some town issues, as just a, like this. As a as a servant as a, of the town. All right. That's right. So, as uh, a public so servant. I, I, I want to talk about that because I, I too have some. I, I have some. I have some opinion on this, All right. and again, as a as a as a as a person, as just a, as a regular resident in town, and not as in any official capacity. All right, just this Joe Lunchbox. Just, I mean, Johnny right. Lunchbox. That's All me. Right. And All I'm right. also today, just so you know, if you can see that. I'm uh, sporting my my. I, we got free stickers. Oh, I thought you got a t- I thought you got a T-shirt. I was all I was all. Oh, it looks like one. It looks like one. No, no. It's it's a, a it, yeah, I can give you one too. Like, yeah, there you go. Yeah, it looks yeah, better yeah, on your great. lapel. All, all right. right. All right. Uh, don't go anywhere. We will be right back on Money and Law. My FM 101.3 House and Cable Access TV. Go nowhere. Stay here. We'll be right back. And we're back. Money in the Law, My FM 101.3. Jay Marsden with the Marsden Law Group. John Drohan, made up for financial. Oh, wait, wait. And there's oh, another. Oh, oh. Yeah. And, yeah, of course, yeah, helping I mean, us steer through the cosmos. Yeah, the great the, folks at HCAT are here getting it done for us, making us look skinny, making us look good. And I and, and I apologize because normally there's an introduction in the beginning. And so we're here today we're with our, our now executive producer, Tom Harmon. Uh, it's, and we found out today that that's spelled the same way as Mark Harmon. Nice. Uh, no relation. Although I think Tom Mark Harmon's wife might be Tom Harmon's mom, but there's there's, there's, there's the some Harmon yeah, Harden. Yeah. There's some um, there's some stereo fortune. There's something like that. Yep. Some, there, yeah, so there might be some money involved. It could which be. is why Tom Not is a here. Sponsor. Not yeah. a sponsor. And who else is here? None other than our hero. Ronan the Barberry. So I apologize that I didn't introduce him. Sometimes I get nervous, you know, like in the I want to you know I want to talk. Jay's comes in. We're talking about well, the way he grabbed you in between the, um, during the commercial break to make sure it that was it was a little it, bit it was, aggressive. It was. It was, it was a little bit aggressive. It was, you know it was authoritative. What? Not aggressive. It was authoritative. Well, it's Don Cronin, right? Yeah. How how aggra- How angry is Don Cronin going to get? How? Never know. I don't know. I I mean, I think that I think we just saw it. I mean, you see the Hulk. He doesn't get. He he seems pretty cool until he gets mad and then so things he turns get crazy. Into the Hulk, right? right? It comes sometimes. Right. You're forgiven. You're forgiven. So, uh, uh, so I so I apologize. So yeah, Tom. And Don are here today to, uh, of course, do the Hollis and Cable Access to HCAT. Tom's only here because he heard about that micro brew review. He's like, when does that start Tom's again? Like, really? Like, see, can we please this drink some beer? It's Wednesday morning. Like, what else am who I going to do? Who, who, doesn't? who doesn't? Who doesn't? Who doesn't? Who doesn't? All right, so you have, an, you, have a, you have an agenda for today, which is to talk about the, the Holliston as the, as, the, as the archetype, as the prototype for 
this small downtown revitalization. Well, I, I want, yeah, issue. I, want, I want to talk about kind of what 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 that entails, and when when someone says, "Oh, we want to we want to revitalize the downtown," why is that? So sure. so let's let's start from the top. So why do you know? Like as we said in the in the previous segment, why do people want want a downtown? Why do people people like a downtown like Hollister? Well, you tell me. Well, you know, it's funny. So I have the odd uh, exposure to being in a town that has a downtown and then living in a town that doesn't have quite the same brick-and-mortar downtown that you'd see in a, in a place right, like, like Milford, right, right yeah, here. That's right. Yeah, yeah, that's right. So so we spend a fair amount of time in both. I mean, I think that the, 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 the pro or the, the, the reason for advocating for your downtown is just from an overall very general sense of community. Yep. I mean, I think that at the end of the day, that's really what it comes down to. It gives people a focal point. It gives people a place to be drawn to. It gives people a place to kind of collect and, and celebrate good things, unfortunately celebrate bad things. And I think, you know, most folks kind of have, you know, especially in New England, have grown up with that sense of, you know, there's always a downtown, there's a square, there's a wherever it is, right? right. You've got this one kind of meeting point where you hope to go and, you know, especially in this small town New England vibe, you see the people you know, you see friends, you, 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 you take advantage of business opportunities, you patronize, you know, businesses that are downtown. Don't patronize that, me. That, that make your community unique. Yeah. That's the idea. Yeah. That, and that's and, and you about. have these, like, you have this nostalgia, right? Yes. There's this, like, nostalgia in, in all these, especially in New England, like, you have these really cute, there's always a church or two that are, you know, that it's been there yep. for a hundred years. There's always these old buildings that have been converted into some sort of a business, right? Yeah. That, a or, pseudo general store or something like that. That's right. That's yeah, right. And, you go to the post office, right? Exactly, right? Yep. The there's a library, right? There's, yep. there's, there's, you know, there's a Firehouse. Then you go run you know, some errands downtown, right? And, yep, yeah, yep. And, and this is, and you know, I just listed all the things that are in downtown Allison, right? Yeah, there's, yeah. There is a, there is a, a, a general store. There's a, there is a, there is a food store, and and those, the two of the ones that we have happen to be particularly unique, yep. and they're 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 very popular places in town, right? We're yeah. talking about Fisk General Store. We're talking about Holliston yep. Superette. There's, there's a gathering there, places. There's a lot yeah. of hey, how's it going? There's a lot of like catching up that goes on in those places. Yeah, they're kind of like the two like the two anchors sure. in in the in the downtown area. And then of course, like there's there's a church. There's we have our town hall, which is a, a relatively historic building. Sure, you know, like and that's well done. There's 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 a green. There's a restaurant. Of, there's an insurance. Agency. There's a dry cleaner. There's a hardware store. There's I heard there's all, a lawyer down there. There's too. a couple of lawyers. There's, there's all the basics. All yeah. the all the all the items. All the all the recipe items that make up that stew that we call community <laughs> is all down there. It's yeah. all down there. Yeah. So so the so the question is 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 people and people like that, right? People, you know, when you talk about when you ask, I mean, you ask, you know, a hundred out of a hundred people in Hollis, and they'll say, oh yeah, I love the fact that there's a downtown. I, sure. Yeah, I love the fact that I can go to Superette and I can, you know, pick up some stuff that I might need for dinner. I love the fact that I can go get pizza, you know, around the corner. I love the fact that there's that the library's right there and I can right. walk to, you know, right. and there. So they so it feels good. It's a it's yeah. a feel good yeah. place. And you're seeing the same people in over and over again. So there's a sense of familiarity. With it. There's a sense of, you know, you, you walk in to get a pizza, you know the pizza guy. You go you go into the true value. It's different than going into a Home Depot and a Lowe's, right? You're having some connection. You're having some... It, 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 it's that connection and community that really kind of brings it together. Right. So so a million years ago, not a million, but many, many years ago, in, in as in just in development of, of you know, the, the development of towns and, and, you know, all across Massachusetts, you know, Holliston... And, you know, 50 years ago, didn't have uh, they didn't have a, se a sewer system. Right. They, every everything was in was based in septic to include the downtown area, and that was fine. That that enabled it to do what it was doing, and people were that, that served was, it in that incarnation. It, it, and so it was it, it worked. It worked at that time yeah. because of the number of people that were in Holliston, because of the type of businesses that could afford to be in Holliston, the type of and because of just the, the economic kind of vibe of the town at that time. Then and and so so this is, you know, however again, fifty years ago I'm using that number. So then it's like, okay, well this is what some of these other towns are doing uh, that are in the same situation. They have a, they have septic systems, but they we, we probably need to put in some sort of a sewer. We probably need to because if there's going to be any kind of growth, particularly for the things that you know for, for, to expand businesses, to make things bigger, or to you know to bring in some like bigger businesses, for instance, restaurants, then you're going to need a sewer system. Well, the the, the federal government was literally paying for it. Yeah, the federal government was saying, "Look, if you guys put in sewers, we'll pay ninety-eight percent of the cost." Yeah, and, and it was, and, 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 and they they do that to incentivize behavior, 
and they do that to incentivize economic you know, whether, growth. Well, economic growth. They right. would do. They want to do. Uh, they want it to be a public health issue. You know, they basically go and say, "Look, this is what we're going to pay for. We're asking you guys to come in with the two percent, but we'll take care of the ninety-eight. Yeah. What do you think? And and uh, you know, so the when you when you put when you put when it's put that way, you say, "Wow, that's um, that sounds. Why wouldn't I take that deal?" Right. So when someone says, sure. "Hey, yeah, here's here's your cards. We're going to sell it to you for twenty thousand dollars. I'm going to throw in all these extras, the sunroof and I'm gonna, and the trailer hitch and everything else. It's going to cost you two grand." And you're like, "Why wouldn't I take that deal? Right? right. Why would I take that deal?" So unfortunately, back in the day. The, the town of Holliston, the town collectively, the town meeting system said, they voted on it, they said, no, no thanks, we're good. We're, we like things the way they are. We, Just the we're, way they are. We're, we're, we're good with the way they are. And, and you know what? So after that town meeting, the next day happened, the next month happened, the next year happened, and life went on and things continued to... Just, Time just, marches forward. Yep, everybody, everything, yep. everything was going fine. And then... It came up again. Then, you know, like it, it kind of comes in these like generations. So the next generation says, hey, listen, you know what? This is something that we, and and maybe the deal wasn't as as, as sweet as it well, was it wasn't. back then. It wasn't as sweet. Yeah. No, it so, wasn't as sweet. So, so, but it was still a deal. It was it was still a deal. But again, what it translates to is going to cost the, the, the town, it's going to ta- cost the taxpayers money. Yep. And, but then, and then, and then when, then, then the question became, well, wait a minute, I don't have a downtown business, or I don't live downtown. I'm not going to directly benefit from this. What I'm going to benefit from is the fact that I can still go to Super Ed or if a new well, restaurant I think I think the second ask was also town-wide. Yep. And then the, the percentages had changed, right? It wasn't the 98-2 deal, right? It was something different. It <laughs> might have been 60-40, whatever the deal was, right? Yep. And then the same thing. So now we're going to pay more, so that's fine. So that was the, so that was the town-wide go-no-go decision. Right. And then... Then it got to the, well, what if we just do this, yeah. right? So now it's like, look, you know, I, 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 can I, can, I, can we a la carte this thing, right? Yeah. So if you don't care, you know, if you're fine with your septic system in your residential neighborhood far away from here, and you don't care about whether or not you have septic or sewer in your neck of the woods, what about in downtown? What if just downtown? What yeah. if we just do that? Go ahead. And then, and so then now you're in a situation where like, okay, well, maybe it doesn't affect me, right? It, it, it doesn't affect me directly. And if it doesn't affect me directly, then why do I want to pay extra, right? Why do I want to, I mean, it's raising my tax. I already paid for the school system. I already, you know, my taxes are high as this. My real estate tax, you, you know. What am I getting out of it? What do I, me? what do I, me? what do I get out of yeah. it, right? So that, and, and, you know, if you fast forward to kind of, you know, the, to to you know the next generation it happens again and then here we are and now now the discussion is coming up again however now it's like okay well wait a minute now now it's like now that now that you look at our the, the Holliston downtown and you compare it to some of these other towns and that's what always happens is Holliston gets compared to some of these other towns and like well wait a minute why isn't Holliston like Medfield why isn't Holliston like Hudson why isn't Holliston like Wellesley why well what ha- what happens is all of a sudden you see the implications of your no. Yeah. That's what happens, right? Yeah, you if see you what wanna, happens. If you want to say no, you can say, and this is how, you know, and I, I, I sat through countless town meetings, right? Mm-hmm. So so this is what happens, right? There's a discussion. One side makes their argument. The other side, their side, made, the other side makes their argument. But what doesn't get brought into that discussion is, here's why you should do it, and here's why you should do it. The yeah. two, two, two competing positions. But what somebody doesn't say is, and if you don't do it, by the way, here's what's going to happen, right? Here's the and impact. it's not going to happen, and not like we said, it's not going to happen overnight. No, 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 no. no. But uh, here's the impact of no. Yeah. Here's what saying no means, right? You're going to know what you're saying yes to, and you're going to know what saying no means. And then to your point, then you look around, and all of a sudden you see towns that said yes. Yeah. You know, we'll do that. We'll make, we'll make a go with we'll, that, right? And right. then and and it's and it's not perfect, right? It's not. I mean, you no, know, it's no, not. You no. know, it's not like everything. It's not like you know everything dress right dress and everything's perfect. And and it's not that like in some in these towns that have kind of you know invested into the infrastructure where all the businesses thrive and everybody makes money. And of course, they have they, the same thing happens. They they have businesses that go out of business. They have businesses that don't work. Whatever they're in the wrong market. Sure, whatever sure. it is, but. At least they're in a position where they're they have the capability and they have the flexibility to do something and to and to expand. Where as opposed to putting it all on just some individual person who say, okay, yeah, I want to put in a restaurant. I want to I want to build a restaurant in downtown Austin. And they're like, okay, you can build a restaurant. Here's what it's going to cost you to put in. Here's the septic system that right. you need to put here's in. Here's the design that yeah, you need to put in. Here's and and then oh by the way. This design has to because you mentioned it before, and this is another thing that gets that that often gets overlooked is is the environmental concerns that happen, right. that, that especially for in especially for a town like Holliston, where it's like you know the relatively high water table, 
There's like water. There's flowing water. There's like streams and stuff that are there's right in the, they down, call it Mudville. in the in the in the downtown hall scenario. So, so you you get to this point where it's like okay. If you don't do something, and now now it's like, and that's a great point. Like, this is what happens if, you know, this is the result of saying sure. no. So you don't do anything, and now you're like, well, wait a minute. Like, what about these small businesses? About Why can't, and then, and then people kind of throw in ideas. Well, why can't, why can't like a, 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 a gift store or a jewelry store or a barbershop or something, why can't they just, just be there? And, and there's a reason for that. It's because. Go ahead. It's because they can't make money. They, they 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 can't. There's not enough. There's not enough business for them to to be able to make money, especially coming off of this post COVID like inflation. But we talked about on the last show. Like it's everything costs more. And if you and people, you know, someone on the outside. If I'm sitting at home, right, and I'm and I'm working, you know, I I go to Zoom meetings and I, you know, I I work, you know, things things are great. My my job still works. Everything. I'm still making my money. And I say, yeah, why? Can't, it's too bad that uh that that record store in downtown Holliston is going out of business. Like, yeah, you know why? Because. He doesn't do what I do. Right. He doesn't have. He doesn't have this. He has to. He has to actually have people come into his in, into his store and buy it. Well, to your point, there are certain businesses that need foot traffic, right? Not yeah. not every business is designed to not be brick and mortar, right? Yeah. So so that's the one issue, and then the other issue is, you know, you rattle off a whole list of sort of businesses. What happens is you end up getting the same. You know, there's there's only so much critical mass, right? There's only so much room for so many. Um, you know, haircut places, yep. right? Barbershops, right? There's only so much room for so many jewelry shops, right? It's market saturation. It's it, it's economics. It's you know, it's all it's capitalism at its finest. So when you when you're limiting what the what the infrastructure of your downtown can support as a fabric of your business community, now you are going to get a lot of turnover. It becomes really you know, people used to joke all the time, right? We have we you know we have a lot of antique shops. We have a lot of this we have a lot of that we have a lot of things that don't require what a lot of water usage sure. right they, 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 these these are not restaurants yeah, these the are insurance not, agency doesn't use a lot of water. that's right that's right they're not doing it they're not using they a ton of water their septic. at the Austin Jewelers not using no. a ton of water over there right so so but you know you want to go to a restaurant and you want to wash dishes and you want to provide sanitary food for people to eat off of because not everybody wants to go off of paper plates then you have a different issue and are you is is the infrastructure in place to support something like that? That that becomes the question, right? Yeah, and, and if the answer is no, then then you can stop asking yourself how come there's no more how come there's no more bakeries? We used to hear this all the time when I was on the board of selectmen. I, I wish there was a bakery in town. Mm -hmm. Well, the bakery can really only go in one of two locations, and unless a building or a space opens up at location A, you're not getting a bakery at location B. You know, there's you know you can only think out of the box so much with some of these things. There's just no, there's just, just there's no ability to do it. All right, uh, we're going to take a quick break. And we're going to come back and pick this back up because this is important stuff. And you think about how, you know, you know, 50 years ago, yeah, this is what like the the businesses that were there they they were able to survive because they were dealing with 50 year ago costs. They were dealing with a 50 year ago 50 years ago market. And that market and the costs and everything to be able to run a, a, a restaurant, to be able to run a jewelry store, to run anything, has changed dramatically. Well, well there, oh, there are a business that thrives in a very particular set of, of of business infrastructure, and so that's it. That's what you get. Yeah, and you and, and 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 you're in a you're in a particular market. So what we're talking about is if you know what 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 towns like Holliston have to be able, they have to adapt, and they they say, look, if if our market's not big enough to support a downtown business district, then we have to change our market we have to expand our market do and, something. We'll, and we'll talk about how that could happen when we come back right after this and we're back money in the law my fm 101.3 jay marsden with the marsden law group john drohan main effort financial hcat steering us through the cosmos the trying cat. trying not to do a lot of close-ups they're yeah. holding off a little bit on that doing that whole, <laughs> there's you know, not a cat in there well, cat, 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 cat in the cosmos yeah no, there's no that's my, no, that's my that's new band <laughs> cat in the cosmos um and we're talking about your 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 just your general old school small town business district and uh, the challenges that they face post COVID and the challenges they face keeping up with the, the Joneses, which are those other communities that have made certain investments and taken on certain challenges and have put themselves in a position to to, to, to be able to grow. Yeah, but, and, and on the one hand you have like the business community and you have people that are like, look, if I'm if I'm running a business, or if I'm gonna, if I'm if I'm a, a restaurateur, 
I want to, I want to, I want to make money, right? I want to, I want to have a successful business. I want to have a successful restaurant. And then a town, like, you know, a downtown like Holliston will be like, yeah, that'd be great. We, it would be great if we had a, another restaurant or another two restaurants in town, if the market's going to be able to support it. And then, you know, the, the whole idea of if you build it, they will come kind of thing comes into it, right? Possibly. Yeah. Yep. And, Possibly. And, but then, so this, so if I'm the restaurateur and I'm like, okay, yeah, I'll, I'll entertain this. What is it going to cost for me to do this? And they're like, well, you know, if, if you want to do that, remember, we don't have a sewer system, so you'll have to build a, you know, $200,000 septic in order to put well, this. Well, the, the landlord, the landlord, the landlord has to say, I'm not investing $200,000 into a septic system. I'd rather just keep renting to people who don't need exactly. a $200,000 septic system. And I know we already have 10 of those businesses in town, but I'd rather take a chance and get somebody like that because I don't want to make the investment. Yeah. Because there's no guarantees. Because exactly and with any, of course, there's there's risk yeah, and everything yeah, you do. Sure, of course, there yeah, is, yeah. there's no guarantees. But at the same, so then, but then, so then, the the, the restaurant tour says, okay, and goes somewhere. Says, I'll take my business somewhere else. And, yeah. And then, so then, but then the town, and then as this happens, right, and as this happens with not just restaurants, but with other businesses, just because the because there's no there's no capability for the town to really for the the business to be able to expand and to make money, especially in today's like day and age. Then now, now people on the outside are like, "Oh yeah, downtown Holston doesn't look the same. It looks, it's not as, it's not as fun. It's not as cute. It's not as good as it." And well, then it starts to look dated. You know, yeah, and then and, and it starts to look dated because you know, just like what happened through COVID, when all of these businesses like started to shut down, like you, in, no matter where they were in Holliston, they're not going to, they're not going to open back up. You're not going to see that kind of revitalization in the business community unless the town really, uh, unless they, unless they make this happen. Well, and some towns have a natural drawing point, right? Sure, you know, they're, some, in a, they're, in a, they're in a good location. Geography-wise, yeah. you, know, you, you hear this on the coast all the time, right? Like, uh, you know, people people will say on a Saturday afternoon, hey, let's get up and take a ride to Newburyport, yeah. right? They drive to that downtown Newburyport area. It's got that whole, you know, on the coast, you know, uh, you know, sailboat feel to it. You know, you're up there. It's a different animal, right? Um, we, we've talked with Ray about Milford. Milford yeah. has a physical infrastructure that's dramatically different. And it's got you know this whole downtown, and it's got a, a you know there's a lot of exposures, a lot of storefronts. It's bigger town, bigger right town. Now. Framingham, you know, they've made substantial improvements. Well, Framingham's a great example in right? the downtown area. I mean, yep. I mean, Framingham is a city, right? I mean, yes. it's a, it's a yeah, city, but only recently a city. They're the biggest, one of the biggest towns in Massachusetts. Are the biggest. That's right. That's right. 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 And they went and did, they started doing all kinds of stuff in their downtown over there. You know, and it was all. Built around downtown revitalization. It was right. It was driving that. It was driving that. Okay, so we want to attract businesses. We want to attract businesses, which in turn, this is like this is what the people want. So yeah. this, I go back to. Okay, you ask hundred people in house, and you'll say, "Would you like to have a really fun downtown that where you can go and do things and it'd be like a destination right. and 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 a, and a place where you could meet people, where you could you know have like social interaction, where you could get something to eat, where you could you know buy gifts for a birthday party and things like that." And people would be like, "Oh yeah, why would?" I want that. Right. Of course, that's what and people I want. people are not looking for you to rebuild Boston. Nope, that is not that is not that is not the suggestion, right? The suggestion is, you know, you want a place that's got some vitality, that has lots of options, right? You know, you you know, at some point, you want to be able to do different things, and uh, you know, and that's that's what you want. That's what you want when you when you think of your hometown. That's what you want to think of. Yeah, and so so the the whole idea of you know the the, the concept is is that if the sewer system happens. That potentially that could be the impetus behind the you know the ability to grow, and it's all driven by food, right? And you said you mentioned bakery, right? So if there was like if you had the ability to 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 put in if a, someone would put in a restaurant, a bakery, or some you know other pl things that where people can get food, or perhaps some sort of beverage that might taste good after ten o'clock in the morning. I mean, Blame there, there's. <laughs> I was going to say between ten and twelve, right? <laughs> but um, the or greatest, the world's greatest bartender or, you can't have or, one after or time. or something that you you get it like this and I'm something maybe, that's, yeah something that something comes that's, yeah I mean you can't see it on the radio I'm but it, yeah. some sort of a, a tapping comes type in some of, foam but maybe there's might you might have to some take CO2 a little in there you might have to take a little of the foam off the top yeah or, if you do it right but yeah. something like that right something where where you have that kind of the, the capability to put those things in because that's what that's where people those are destinations right so so when you have these kind of ancillary businesses like your gift shop your jewelry store your antique store your general store like or even like your supermarket those those places benefit from those because sure. now people now if I'm living in Milford and I'm like wow there's a really good place that serves foamy stuff in a glass that I can go and 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 have dinner at and I can and and it's different from like some of the other ones that I've seen there before 
that's fun. And people go, and, and now you have more people that are going to Well, it's a checkerboard. Board. I mean, this is what you see when you go to some of these downtowns. You see it a lot in the Cape, right? You go to these different downtown communities in the Cape. You go to downtown Chatham. You go to downtown Howard. You go to P-Town. You go to, uh, you go to Hyannis. You go to, you know, you get there. You can park your car, and you could kill two hours, yep. right? Going down, and let's wander around. Let's see what's going on, right? There's a sense of vibrancy. There's a sense of, you know, there's a sense of community. You're going to see people. There's a restaurant. There's a gallery. There's a antique shop. There's, you know, there's... There's a there's this very diverse collection of community of businesses that sort of feed off of one another, right? Yeah. I mean, you're not going to go every day to the barbershop, but you're going to do other things. There's going to be overflow, spillover activities that generate things for everybody. We've done this when, when we were both very involved with the Holston Business Association. We would try to run certain events downtown with the idea that they would draw people to the downtown area, and then that would have some ancillary benefits for the restaurants and the businesses that are already down there by getting people down there. So now, rather than making it event-specific, now you're making it sort of infrastructure-specific. Yeah, and, and this is where, you know, this is where I, I love the idea. So, so, so now, post-COVID, the federal government and the state government, they're like, okay, we, we get it. We hear, we hear what everybody's saying that, that, you know, these kind of downtown, these downtown areas have been, have been beaten down by the pandemic. So sure. here, we're going to help. And here's here's some here's some money that's here's there's money available, but you guys got to come up with a plan. Like you guys got to say, okay, here's and and if you don't know how to do it, that's fine. You can get get professional help we'll on get the outside. Help with plenty yeah. of people available. But at the end of the day, what's going to happen is you as a town, depending upon like you you're going to put together this package, this idea, whatever it is. At the end of the day. Because of the way Hollison set up, you're, you guys got to decide. You have to decide yes or no. Well, that's how that's how a lot of these programs work. A lot of these programs will will will, will offer up resources to do something like this, but they don't just give you a blank check and yeah. say go figure it out. You need to come to them with a definitive, well thought out plan that says this is what we would use your money for, and this is how we believe this money would benefit. Our community, for example. So this is this is the investment you're making, Uncle Sam, and your money will be well spent. Yeah. You, know, you hear this a lot when they talk about you know road construction. They want shovel ready projects. They want projects where the design work has already been done, and the government knows what it's getting when they give you the money. That's what they want. That's what they want, and that's what what a lot of communities working with their town planners have some of these projects kind of sitting on the shelf somewhere that can get a little bit of dusting off and you can put a little polish on them and they're ready to go and they're good to have. Yeah, it's a good exercise to go through. Yeah, and, and maybe it's not going to be the same plan that's been sitting on the shelf. Sure, and absolutely. Of course, right. you're going to have to make adjustments. Of course, things have changed, right? And you have to kind of take into consideration all of the, you know, from A to Z, the environment to, you know, the, the, the current financial situation, the, your supply chains, and the, the, the fact that you have to be COVID conscious because, it, you know, the pandemic still sure. isn't gone. Yeah, right? all, wages, all that stuff. All, yeah, yeah, yeah. all that, you know, right. Right, your, your employment capability, like all of that kind of plays into it. But at the end of the day, that's it. You, you know, you as they're going to, you have to, you as the, as the organization, in this case, it's the town, right? The, the collective town, you, me, them, everybody. That's my Blues Brothers love reference, right? We were said, talking about that yep. before you got here, right? Yep. So you, me, them, everybody, we all have to, have to agree. And in, in, in the form of we vote on it. And most of the people that say that, you know, vote yes, like this, we agree on it. That we need to have a plan, and it doesn't have to be a. It doesn't have to be. It's all going to get fixed in one day, or it's all going to get fixed in one month, or even one year, right? No, but you know, it's funny. Like we, like we would get presentations to us. <laughs> when we were on the board talking about making design changes, infrastructure changes, doing doing certain things, and then they would show you. They would they would they would map it all out for you. They'd show you like one of the, like one time, a guy was showing us a project, and he's like, "Well, we're going to do this, this, and this," and then he goes, "You know." If we had whatever the number, whatever the amount of money was, right? We could take $11. out we could, we could take out all of these, and then he makes all the telephone poles disappear. Yeah, and you say to yourself, you know what? I never even thought about it because I've been so sort of blind to them being there all the time. But all of a sudden, when they're gone, you say to yourself, things are different. Well, that's a bit of a different look. Yeah, right? that's a bit of a different look. You know, and we straighten out this road, and we straighten out this, and we straighten out that, and then if we do a couple of things, and again, these are not necessarily insane projects but th this is all to your point part and partial of just a moving moving forward approach you know we and on the on the law side we always tell people we always want you to look one move ahead right? yep. one move ahead one move ahead and and this is exactly that approach right this is the, this is if we can do these things 
where would that get us? Yeah. Yeah. And where does, so where, where does it, and, and, but on the other hand, in, in order for it to, to gain, and as you well know, right, as you've done, you know, in, in town government and town meeting, like, as you well know, in order for this to gain some sort of traction and get, and get support from the people, there has to be, you have to be able to see something like now. You have to see some, there has to be something that has to happen in the beginning to, to kind of give them, or, or to give people, you say, look, okay, here's where we're going with this. Here's what's going to happen in the, here's what's going to happen now. Or at least some, some like way to, and I don't know, I feel like Allison doesn't do this as, as well as we could, but some way to, to kind of show everybody and say, look, all right, here's the plan and, and dumb it down for everybody. Not just like, oh, uh, come to town meeting or, or, or Zoom, go to the Zoom uh, selectman's meeting and you'll be able to hear it on the third no, you, in the you're, morning. Well, you're hundred percent right. I mean, people want to see what am I getting for my money? Exactly. That's what they want to see. They don't want a theory. They don't want nebulous ideas. They don't want somebody to say, you know, give us $30 million and we'll make downtown better. Right? Yeah. That's the concern, that's, right? And, and, that's, is, and, right. and that's not going to get it. That's not going to get it done, right? People want to see, what am I getting for my money? How is this? Because, again, at the end of the day, we all live in our own universe. How is this going to impact me? And, there's, and, and if somebody says, if this is going to make your property taxes go up, is it? But how is it? Yeah. Don't just tell me. To, like, again, people are hip to just these, 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 these ideals being thrown out there, these, these aspirations being thrown out there that may or may not have something substantive behind them. So they're going to want to know, tell me really what I'm getting. Yeah, and this is where the work comes in, right? Yes. That's, that's, that's the hard work, right? That's where, that's just, okay, yeah, how much is this going to cost, yep. right? How much is it going to cost me, right? And again, because my property taxes consistently go up, you know, so there's, so even if we do nothing, I think my property tax is going to go up right. at some point right. for what, for this, that, and the other reason, right? So this is where they're going to go up. So they're going to go up even more and they're probably going to keep going up from there, but it's going because of this. And this is what you're going to get for it. This is what, this is the result of what, of what this project is. And it's, and it's something where, and it's not just a, it's not just like shown at a, at a, at a select meeting. It's not shown at just a, at a town meeting. It's a, it's at a, it's, it's something that people can see. They can wrap their head around. It's well, not, it's not filled with a bunch of acronyms like, oh, the LERPA and the ARPA and the MAPS, you know, all this stuff where people are like, I, I don't well, know but the, but the other thing is it needs to have, well, it needs to have commitment. Well, got, yeah. By the people who are going to be shepherding this process, this project needs a through the process, it does need a shepherd, and it needs somebody with commitment. I mean, I can I can tell you that you know I, that when I think about commitment and I think about a project, I think about the Hollister Rail Trail. Right? Yep. There was there was one individual who was passionate and committed to the idea of getting the rail trail kind of up and running and getting it collected and literally hand-to-hand combating this thing all the way through the process. And he worked with a team of great people who were also equally committed. But these types of initiatives are not one and done. This isn't a weekend project. This isn't cleaning up the ball field, right? This takes somebody or a group of people to say, we are in this for the long haul. Let's define the objectives. Let's define what the goals look like. Let's look at how long this is going to take. I believe I could get my numbers wrong, but it doesn't matter. Just you get the idea. <laughs> the I'm doing that for years. Um, the, 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 Don't let them get in the, the way the, of what the, you're trying to say. The, 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 the project for the rail trail. I think that was a 13 year project. Yeah. Right. So somebody had to get involved for 13 years. Right. That's a lifetime for a lot of folks. <laughs> 13 right? years you ago. Know? Right. Just to get yeah, start to finish. For, right. Yeah. To, to take an idea that everybody thought made perfect sense. Right. Everybody take, loves it. Right. Everyone loves right, the idea. Right, yeah. To take an idea that wasn't really going to get, you know, they weren't going to reinstall rail, right? So that was yeah. really, so it was kind of only going to one, but it needed, it needed a quarterback. It needed yeah. somebody to kind of fight this and thing through it. and chase down the money and chase down the revenues and chase down grant money and work with the town and fight with all the town departments and get everybody on the same page. And some people thought it would, when I, when I came on the board, somebody, Right, like almost week one, somebody said to me, I asked about that project and I thought it was a great idea. And somebody said, that's not going anywhere. Yeah. I'm like, what are you talking about? Yeah. Not, how's it not going anywhere? They said, that's not going anywhere. Yeah. Okay, great. And then here we are, like 15 yeah. years later, 13 years later. Everybody loves it. It's great. You know, it does a lot. You know, everyone. That's one of the center. It's one of the focal points yeah, of, it's like, of it's the like, of It's the like the a crown jewel, right? Yeah. So, you know, it's great. And it connects up with these other communities. And then you talk to these other towns and they want to do it. So, it, but my point is, it needs it needs somebody to sort of take on the burden 
of going to every meeting and being everywhere and becoming kind of the face of that movement. Yeah, That's and, what has to and, and 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 that and and kind of taking that strategic plan because it, like you said, it's not going to happen overnight. It's nope. not going to happen in one year. It's yep. not going to happen in. It may not happen for in in five years. Right, it might happen it, in ten years. You might not even see it to completion. You so, might be handing that off at some point. Who right. knows? So, yep. but but it has to be some 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 and and. And 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 maybe it's somebody in the town. Maybe maybe it's a, a, a maybe it's the select board. Maybe it's wh wh whomever it is. But it has to be somebody or some group or some organization, like you said, that has to quarterback it. Because if not, you're going to have a bunch of everybody's like, oh, I got a great idea. I got a great idea. I got a great idea. Oh, here's what we found out. Here's what, and then well, and then every time somebody moves on, it's like starting from scratch all over. Yeah, you know that's what happens. That's what happens. All right. Well, I think we're. I think we're. I think we covered that. I think we're good. All right. So um, Ray told us last week. Zip it. Yeah, he told us. Zip it. Zip it. All right. So uh, thanks for joining us uh, this week on Money in the Law with Jay Marsden and John Droyan and the Hollis and Cable Access TV. Tom, aka Not Mark Harmon, and Don Cronin. If you're a small uh, town wants, wants an hour long critique of its downtown, give us a call. <laughs> we'll be, know. We'd be happy to come in. <laughs> uh, uh, evaluate your downtown. Yep. We'll, we'll, we'll evaluate spend, the we'll sun factor. We'll spend. We'll spend the day there. This place has got those that thing we're talking about in the tap. Yeah, all right. We can do that. Yeah, we'll be all right. So we'll uh, join us next week on Money in the Law, my FM one oh one point three. We'll be we'll be here next oh, week. We'll be here. All right. Have See a good you week. Week.